Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing up? You know it's past your bedtime, right? You couldn't sleep. Okay. Did you have a bad dream? like that <laughs> okay so I want you to go lay down get comfortable mommy's gonna bring a book and actually since you were such a good little noodle in school I'm proud of you about that mommy's gonna pick out three books and you could choose the one you want me to read how's that sound yeah you like that okay Lay down. Lay down. Okay, baby. I want you to lay down. Okay. All right, baby. You comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Tucked in nice and tight. Tell me who that is. That's right. That's Superman. You're so smart. You're so smart, baby. You want to see the other books mommy picked out? No? You want to read this one? Are you sure? This is a big kid book. Okay. If you're sure, baby, yeah. show you the pictures okay all right you're so sweet you're so good okay so action comics number one gave birth to superman the idea of superhero and in many ways the american comic book industry as we know it join us in a celebration of action's amazing 80 year run with Reflections on Action by Laura Siegel Larson, daughter of Superman, co-creator Jerry Siegel, and celebrated writers Jules Pfeiffer, Tom David, David Hadju, Lamu Tai, Jean Wen Yang, Marv Wolfman, and Paul Levitz. The very first Superman story. First stories of arch villains, the Toy Man and the Brainiac, a never before published story from the original creative studio of Jerry Seigel and Joe Shushner, dating back seven decades and much, 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 much more. Okay, so basically, this is explaining what we can look forward to in this book. Who is that? Come on, you know. Who is that? Very good, baby. And who do you think this is? That's right. That's right. And it says you don't need... No, it says you need it to be afraid of me. I won't harm you. You want to go to the next page? Do you want to turn it or should I? You want me to turn it? Okay, baby. Wow, look at that. How 
awesome is that? What do you think? Do you like all the pictures? Yeah. This is Action Comics. So cool, right? Look at that. That's so awesome, isn't it? Wow, baby. Look at all the pictures. Thank you. You like that? different words on here baby mommy's gonna skip these okay these are the grown-up words okay let's start on this page the introduction okay so mommy's gonna read okay let me just place the book down right here so it says there's never been a comic quite like Action Comics. Mommy's getting sleepy with you a little bit. Are you sleepy yet? You're not sleepy yet? Oh my goodness, Mommy's getting sleepy. Alright, let me continue. There's never been a comic quite like Action Comics. Born only a handful of years after comics were first assembled in the format we recognize as the comic book. As funnies on Parade 1993 or sold to the public that way Famous Funnies also 1933 only three years after the first regularly published original comic New Fun 1935 Action Comics number one showed up on newsstands in 1938 when there was only a tiny section for comics only a dozen or so hmm? It's boring. Baby, you wanted to read this book. I told you it was a big kid book. You want me to skip to the good stuff? Okay. You're so silly. You are so silly. <laughs> well, this is still part of the introduction, baby. Let me, you see, this is still part of the introduction. Let me move forward to where the comics start, okay? Right. Look at all these amazing pictures. Hold on. Mommy wants to hold the book properly for you. Okay. You see all these pictures, baby? Take a look. and read it to you, okay? Okay. As a distant planet was destroyed. Can you hear me? Yeah? Okay. As a distant planet was destroyed by old age, a scientist placed his infant son with an hastily devised to spaceship launching it toward Earth. So, what 
they're saying is that there was a distant planet and it was destroyed. And basically, a scientist is the one who took his son. So the scientist was from this place. And he took his son and put him in a spaceship and sent him to Earth. And so, um, there was a baby inside of the spaceship. Somebody found the spaceship. And what they did was they turned the baby over. What did it say? An orphanage. So, let's look at the pictures now. You see, this is the spaceship landing on Earth. And this is the baby that was brought to the orphanage. And as you can see, he has super strength. Look, he's picking up the red couch, right? That color is red, right? Good job. Good job. And what color is the dad wearing? Awesome, buddy. You see, you're so smart. I love you. You're so smart, baby. Okay. So. Let me continue reading, okay? I'm gonna continue reading. Alright, so. It says, When maturity was reached, discovered he could easily leap one eighth of a mile. Can you believe that? Imagine. Do you know how long a mile is, baby? A mile is super long. Picture the track at school going around the track four times. That's a mile. He can leap one eighth of a mile. That's a far leap if you ask me. What do you think? So when maturity was reached, he discovered that he could leap one-eighth of a mile, hurdle a 20-story building. He could raise tremendous weights. He could lift heavy, heavy things. You want me to whisper close there? Baby, mommy's close. You want to hear me close? enough. Is that close enough? Okay. Um, where was I? You made me lose my spot. Oh yeah, I told you that he could lift tremendous weights. He can run faster than an express train. Can you imagine somebody running faster than a train? And that nothing less than a bursting shell I think they're referring to bullets, like, you know, the shells in a bullet. Yeah. That couldn't even pierce his skin. Now think about our skin, our skin, anything that bears it, right? A needle. His skin was so tough that not even a bullet could pierce it. Early, Clark decided he must turn his titanic strength into channels that would benefit mankind. And so was created Superman champion of the oppressed, the physical marvel who had sworn to devote his existence to helping those in need. Isn't that nice? Yeah. You're so sweet. A scientific explanation of Clark Kent's amazing strength. So, Kent had come from a planet whose inhabitants' physical structure was millions of years advanced on their own. Upon reaching maturity, the people of his race became gifted with titanic strength. Incredible? No, for even today on our world exist creatures with super strength. The lowly ant can support weights hundreds of times of its own. So here, can you see right here? Can you see that? The ant is lifting something really heavy, a leaf. So they're saying that even on Earth we have things as strong as Superman. Because the ants lift things hundreds of times its own weight. The grasshopper leaps what to man would be the space of several city blocks. 
So for a grasshopper to leap, it can leap several city blocks, like if it was our size, with the strength that it has to leap. Leap? Leap means jump, baby. Leap means jump, okay? Exactly. So what does leap mean? Governor's estate finally is reached. Make yourself comfortable. I haven't time to attend to it. What do you mean by knocking the hour of the night? I must see the governor. It's a matter of life and death. See him in the morning. I'll see him now. This is illegal entry. I'll have you arrested. Answer my questions. Are you going to take me to the governor? Maybe. fell asleep. I need to finish reading the book. I need to even finish reading the book. My baby fell asleep. Oh. I love you so much. I 